Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Krankenwagen. I hear you are here uh, for a potential red flag violation. I'm going to show you a series of images and I need you just to tell me what is the first thing that just pop into your mind. I don't have a problem, man. Okay, I'm going to start. Tell me, what, what do you see here? I see a gun. It's a gun, clearly. Mm -hmm. It's a gun. And here? Yeah, recoilless rifle, Carl Gustav. 84 millimeter, good pick. Oh, uh, Modus 50 cal, pretty nice one. Okay, just a, a few more pictures here. Uh, Mark 19 mounted on top of a Humvee. Ah. Automatic grenade launcher. Okay, lastly, what do you see here? Uh, a butterfly. What do you want from me? Subject is approved for human trials. All right, what's happening, folks? I am at Governor's Gun Club in Kennesaw, Georgia. It's fun. Every time I come here, I run into you folks, supporters, members of the society. And I wanted to say on that note, if you ever see me out in public, airports, restaurants, make sure you say hello. It's always good to meet a brother, right? So that's a big deal. I like you. And so uh, and it, most of you, there's a few trolls. You guys suck. And there's some other trolls that you're just right. And that's annoying. But uh, yay for that. Anyway, we are reviewing a new subcompact pistol by Springfield Armory. And before we jump into that and I show you the gun, I am excited about it. I do think it's pretty darn cool. Not, It's not moving mountains or anything. But anyway, I think they made a good product. Before we get into that, I wanted to say, hey, part of, you know, Warrior Poet Society, we are all about freedom, you know, as traditionally, we are the freedom fighters kind of people that span throughout the ages and the centuries. That's a big deal to us. In the United States, our First Amendment and all of our amendments, our Bill of Rights, our Constitution, our freedoms itself is safeguarded by one amendment in particular, it's the Second Amendment. And if we lose the Second Amendment, all other amendments can slowly be chipped away and before you know it, our great freedom loving country is now at the hands of tyranny. So second amendment is a big deal. And I say all that to say, there's some drama surrounding Springfield Armory. It's from a while back. And uh, as I was preparing for this video, I was trying to delve in and do the investigative journalist thing, which I can't actually do because I'm not an investigative journalist, but I was trying to read all the sides. And every time I read a side, I'm kind of like, oh, they suck. And then I'd read Springfield's side where the CEO is like, no, 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 it was like this, truly love Second Amendment, didn't. And so whatever side I was reading, I was believing. And so now I'm just caught in the middle. I'm like, I don't know the drama. I just know yay for Second Amendment, and I would rather err on the side of grace. And so I'm just going to review a gun because, hey, I'm not a politician. I'm a gun guy. And so uh, innocent until proven guilty, it's still in that thing. And so Springfield Armory, Armory, I don't know what's happening, but it looks like you made a good gun, and I'm going to check it out without further ado. So uh, they ended up sending us this. If you spend years developing a YouTube channel, spending hours and hours and an incredible amount of money on video equipment and stuff, YouTube will occasionally get tipped with a free pistol. They sent me this and I'm just letting you know, they're not giving me any money for it or anything, uh, but presentation, pretty cool. Look at that, a little manual presented to Warrior Poet Society, cool. Oh, important, it came with this, which is good for nothing. Uh, it came with an extra magazine, which is a 13 plus one, huge deal. RMS-C is an optic that goes on it. Came with this little vault as well. I'm just going through that to say, hey, A plus for presentation, guys. That's pretty cool. Anyway, came with one of these safes, and I wanted you guys to check it out. Look at there. Here we are. What I want to do in this video is detail some of the features of it. They did do a few unique things, which is good. Other than that, it's going to be a little same, same with a SIG 365, which I already viewed. If you want to check out reviews of other subcompact guns or guns in general, I'm going to provide some of those links down below in the video description for you. So right out of the gate, it looks like a little SIG 365. Let me make sure it's cleared out, good to go. So here's the SIG 365 and the Hellcat by Springfield Armory. And I would like to say just, man, that is like, just it looks like the exact same size, 
same width, same everything. Even the texture looks pretty darn similar. Now, I really initially liked the SIG 365 because of the ammo capacity. I have been a Glock guy. Man, I am a Glock guy. I like all same stuff. And so SIG, when they came out with this, and I'm moving from a 6 plus 1 in the Glock 43, all of a sudden the SIG, which doesn't look, it look, it's, it looks a little smaller. All of a sudden we went to a 10 plus 1 from a 6 plus 1. That's amazing. And then when you get an additional magazine with just a little bit of an extension, it drops to a 12. Someone's having fun. Good job, American. You party on. Not too much. We're making a video. They can't hear me. I'm just trying to make my videographer laugh. So now we've moved from 10 plus one, the Hellcat's coming out with 11 plus one, and if you go for their bigger magazine, it's a 13 plus one. Holy Toledo, a lot of our big compacts and our full-size guns, they haven't really changed much. You're changing little pieces here and there and celebrating like you've moved a mountain, and really you haven't. But in the way of subcompacts, the game has changed dramatically. And so I really like the ammo capacity of this. That's fantastic. It's not that good grip angle, the 22 degree grip angle that I like specifically with the Glock, but that's okay. This is their OSP, that's Optic Sight Pistol. It also comes in just a standard micro compact, as they'll call it, and it is called the Hellcat. They have upgraded sights, and these are U-notch right here, and a high-vis front with tritium. There's no tritium in the rear. I don't really care. Uh, I do like some tritium in front. The optic is okay, and it's not a review on the optic, but I'll go ahead and say that it's not adjustable LED only, which is what I prefer in all of my optic sights. This is going to naturally lower and raise itself, which in some lighting conditions can be really, really bad. Man, America. It's a low profile sight. That, that's pretty darn good. I think when it's cut for the optic right now at MSRPs at the time of making this video for $599, and if you get it without the optic cut, it's $569, which makes it more expensive by a decent amount than the SIG 43, or I mean the Glock 43, and around the same ballpark as the SIG, uh, plus or minus. Uh, the grip texturing is really agreeable. I like it. The mag ejection uh, button can be switched ambidextrously to either side. I like the texture everywhere and pretty darn cool. Front cocking serrations, just like the SIG does. And it's of course, double action. Now just from dry firing, there's one little thing I didn't like. The trigger was great, trigger's just fine. Uh, so good for that, but right when I break it on dry fire, the front sights kind of tip up. It's not a huge move, and when I'm really being aggressive with my support hand, I can mitigate it so it doesn't go anywhere, but I noticed as soon as the shot breaks, the front sight lifts up. I don't know if that's gonna have any, any impact on the rounds downrange. We will see in just a moment as I'm about to shoot it for the very first time ever. If the gun works well and it's not having any stoppages or something, I would recommend this gun on the ergonomics and the features and the accessories. Looks pretty darn cool, but beware whenever somebody recommends a gun and it's a first kind of viewing, we don't know how that gun's gonna tell the test of time. So in two years, what if it's just breaking down? I don't know. But as I just look at it right now, if it's running like the SIG 365 and it's second generation, then we're good to go. Anyway, let's go ahead and do eyes, ears, and we're going to shoot the nerdiest target in the world. Look at this. All right, I don't know where the sights are zeroed, so first round, I'm just gonna figure out where it's hitting, and then I'll group. Here we go. Uh, going down range real quick, I want to see where it went. Cool. Looks like it's shooting a little bit high. I'll aim a little lower, because I don't want to zero. All right, we're on it now. Here we go. Uh, 
head down range. All right, so my very first shot, I was holding here just to see where it would hit, and then it hit up here, and here was me aiming lower. Uh, uh, I forgot to do that down here a little on one of them on my very first hold, immediately forgot, and then held around here to rain thunder in Frankenstein's crotch. By the way, guys, secondary sponsor of this channel is Books. This video brought to you in part by Books. I just read, this is coincidental, I just read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, an amazing book. I'd heard the story before, but just more and more I was impressed. This is where we go full poet for just a moment. I'll end the video on this, but hey, reading is cool and I'm benefiting from it, right? But uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, really incredible book. Some stuff I had no idea about the storyline, but really metaphorically, it's, it's kind of the big story that represents we as a society and we as individuals are destined to destroy ourselves by devices of our own making. So anyway, it's a true story, right? In that respect. Anyway, back to the gun. Guys, how do we get on these rabbit trails? It's terrible. Uh, anyway, the Hellcat, pretty darn good. It was a pretty heavy kicking gun. Uh, I felt like a little bit more than the uh, uh, 43. I may just be imagining that. I was really trying to hold on tight. Gun felt good, trigger felt good. I do wonder uh, if it was just breaking up a little because of the trigger, though I doubt it. It's probably just sight placement. You notice at about 10 yards with a subcompact, and I picked up the rate of fire a little bit. We're still grouping pretty darn well, so I'll go ahead and say, yeah, pretty darn accurate gun. It's fun to shoot. It's a good trigger, good sighting system. Uh, I'll go ahead and give it a, a thumbs up unless time says it's breaking down and sucks. So right now, pretty darn good. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, comment, like, hit the notifications bell. A lot of you are not getting notifications anymore. I get that all the time. You're not getting notifications. Best thing you can do is go ahead and bookmark our page. And if you go to our website, I'll have a link down below. There's a video page. And if, you, if that's like your home screen or you bookmark that, all the videos populate in order of upload. So you could bookmark that. That helps us with search engine optimization as well. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Train hard, train smart, and uh, I'll see you.